I've determined the worst part of being single. It's not feeling lonely. It's not missing the person. It's wanting intimacy. Like, I just want to be held. And not by some random chad from the bar. Like, you know the feeling of being held by someone that you love and trust? I'm genuinely asking for advice. Where do I go to find a man? I've tried the golf course, the gym, the coffee shop, the grocery store. I mean, I don't know what to do anymore. To be fair, I live in a city where um, there's not really many men. It's really hard to date where I'm at. The apps don't work. I have actually been leaving my house. I don't know what to do. I am open to any advice. Men don't want to date a below average woman. And that's what a female is, a below average woman. And you'll have these females who are struggling to get in a dating scene and find someone when really, what have you done with your time and in your life? You know, people find people when they're actually busy building on their value. And it just shows that you have done nothing with actually becoming a woman and you're just searching for the next man don't you have a life don't you have any goals what are you not working on anything you're just out here chasing man it's it's stupid and a lot of these females they actually don't have anything else to offer and you could just see it here is they don't know how to even just get on with being a woman their aim is always just to get a man chase a man find a man what about be a woman why don't you start there and as a kid this was not the grown that i was looking forward to i didn't expect my weekends to look like going to a club going to happy hours i expected to be wearing my best hoochie mama outfit pulling up to the cookout with my man and his best pair of forces okay with our kids the water balloons and the water guns but only aim below because my baby can't get her hair wet i was gonna make the kool-aid see the problem with the world is that it's too much twerking and not enough wine coolers and slow dancing the problem isn't with society promoting twerking the problem is is how easily influenced you are and you are going to them clubs twerking as well while complaining how much twerking the social media is promoting the fact that you didn't see yourself going to all these happy hours at the bars late at night why don't you just stop going and start acting on what you want the fact that you'll also speak about how you'll wear all this hoochie mama outfit already indicates the type of female that you are and you actually believe that a man is going to marry you when you're another dusty average three or four from the streets you're an active 304 no man will ever marry that and a lot of these females don't understand the type of damage they're doing when they are actually engaging in this type of behavior when you are a 304 and you want to be out in the streets with your hoochie mama shorts no man wants that as a wife no man wants his son to see that or his daughter you have literally taken yourself out of the category of being a woman and being a wife and being a mother you are disqualified you have failed it's as simple as that and there ain't another chance to retake that test over and over again i do not want to be a hoe when i'm 30 years old let alone 25 like i'm dead ass serious <laughs> i don't want that for myself what's crazy is this female is doing an interview where the interviewer asks all these different ex-workers and gold diggers questions and this one in particular actually believes that she can retire from the streets she actually believes that by 25 she can change how she's lived her life she can change who she is because now she's making different choices no is those choices that led up to 25 is what concludes to who you are females think that because i'm making a new choice i'm not this person anymore no you need to look back at the choice that you made that's who you are and if you made more of those choices than the choice that you were supposed to make that's who you are 
and that reality will never change and this female thinks it can change and it won't and she will be sadly mistaken to find out herself when she reaches 25 and when she reaches 30 and so on the wall is waiting the wall is waiting because a lot of females don't understand is that your prime years are the most crucialest years and you got to make wise choices your prime years isn't just to have fun and do whatever you want and wait till next time or the older you get no the choices you make in your prime years determines who you're gonna be in the future and the sooner people realize that the better let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye